Pete Buttigieg is taking aim. Last night in his Fox News town hall debut, he directly called out President Trump, the network, and even some of his fellow Democratic candidates. To Fox or not to Fox is a lightning rod issue in the Democratic primary. First, with the Democratic National Committee's decision to not allow the Fox News channel to moderate a primary debate. Then, following Bernie Sanders' high ratings town hall with the network, these candidates signed on for theirs, including Mayor Buttigieg, Senators Amy Klobuchar, and Kirsten Gillibrand. But sharply declining invitations from Fox in recent days, Senators Elizabeth Warren and Kamala Harris. Which brings us to last night, when the South Bend, Indiana mayor explained why he was there and had this message for his party. Even though some of those hosts are not always there in good faith, I think a lot of people tune into this network uh, who do it in good faith. And, and there are a lot of Americans who my party can't blame if they are ignoring our message because they will never hear it if we don't go on and talk about it. And so it's why, whether it's going into uh, the viewership of Fox News or whether geographically it's going into places uh, where Democrats haven't been seen much, I think we've got to find people where they are, not change our values, but update our vocabulary so that we're truly connecting with Americans from coast to coast. Seeing that's Jeff Zeleny joins our conversation. Uh, we've been talking about this all day. Uh, the mayor has used these town halls. Uh, he had one on CNN that catapulted him at first, and now this one here. This has been part of his rise. Uh, the question is, how do you, can he keep building? We'll see about that, but look, it's very much on brand for him. He's the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, a red state. He's saying, look, I am a candidate from the middle of the country. I'm not from California like some others. I'm not from Massachusetts like some others. I'm from the middle of the country. So going on a Fox Town Hall, I think is very much on brand like that. And let's face it, Fox has a very large audience. Some of that audience are political junkies. Some of those junkies are Democrats or independents open to this. So I think it makes perfect sense for him to go on there. I think he's doing it to great effect. He's already uh, released a lot more issues on his website that had been kind of a, a blow at him before. So I think it's a win-win for him on this. Who knows how far his rise will actually go? No one has tried to sort of swat him down yet, one of his fellow Democrats. That's coming, I think, because he is, uh, you know, sort of, uh, you know, replacing some of those people in a lane like, oh, I don't know, Beto O'Rourke, maybe? Beto O'Rourke, maybe. We'll see on the debate stage. Uh, you mentioned political junkies uh, watch Fox News, including uh, the President of the United States, who's a right. political junkie and an avid viewer. Really? You don't, you don't uh, say. I, 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 you don't <laughs> say. Yeah. This, this just in. Um, this, this, uh, hard to believe that at Fox News is wasting airtime on Mayor Pete, as Chris Wallace likes to call him. Fox is moving more and more in, to the losing, wrong side, and covering the Dems. They got dumped from the Democrats' boring debates, and they just won in. They forgot the people. Um, he's not happy. He takes it as happy. a personal affront. I, well, I, I think he sees Fox as being on his team, and right. there are people who work for Fox that are on his team. So, I mean, we saw this during the Bernie town hall. Right. He was very upset about the fact that Bernie Sanders was on his stories. Uh, and I, it, that that's something that you Fox really has to figure out uh, because but it, it definitely upsets the president and it's probably one of the reasons he's hitting the road again but I think that's why I think it's also a strategic mistake for some of these candidates to not do a Fox right. Town Hall here's a national televised audience you can get a different audience of viewers and the questions are coming from voters uh, who are may vote for you. Those are the people that are in these town halls who actually have questions that are pressing. And if you do well, then you get a lot out of it, like we saw with Buttigieg and also earlier with Bernie Sanders. Well, I was just going to say, and, and, there's, and if what you need, in the, especially in the early stage of the campaign, is oxygen, political mm -hmm. oxygen, what better way to get political oxygen than to have the President of the United States, who you're, who you're challenging, tweet about you and tweet about what you're doing and, and, and kind of raise your profile. Uh, he was asked, Mayor Buttigieg was, about the President's tweets, and he says he doesn't care, but listen, and he kind of does. The tweets are, I don't care. <laughs> It's a very effective way to command the attention of the media. And uh, well, I think that, that, you know, we need to make sure that we're, we're changing the channel from this show that he's created. It is the nature of grotesque things that you can't look away. <laughs> um, but. Uh, just to add to the conversation, then we'll talk a little. Here's the president describing, and listen closely, why he loves Twitter. I've destroyed bills that were going to be voted on that were bad, and I've gotten bills passed that were good by using Twitter. And Twitter is really a typewriter for me. It's really not Twitter. It's Twitter goes on television. If they have breaking news, I'll tweet. I'll say, watch this. Boom. I did the Golan Heights to Israel, and I put it out on Twitter. If I put out a, a news release, nobody's even going to see it. 
Boom. <laughs> I mean, truer words have not been spoken right. there because he does program the uh, debate and the narrative every bit. He changes the subject by Twitter. He amplifies his own position there. But I thought uh, Mayor Buttigieg was actually, he packed quite a bit in there. He called him right. grotesque. He right. said, you know, we shouldn't uh, turn away. But of course he admits that everyone's watching. And at the same time, he managed to draw the president in as well. So I'm fascinated actually by this uh, sort of back and forth between the White House and the president and Mayor Buttigieg. It's a very interesting sort of in this dynamic because the president is taking a soft approach to him. He said he does not mind seeing him uh, holding hands with a uh, I'm his husband. Uh, it's a fascinating dynamic, I think. I thought the I thought the dynamic was also interesting. That the, that crowd's response to his critique of right. of Twitter. Right. I mean, there is even among conservatives, even among people who are fans of Trump, uh, I think are tired of the tweets. And a lot of them are in Congress. Yeah. <laughs> well, a lot, of them are kind of, a lot of them just live in the country, yeah, I true, think, and true. I think that yeah. people are just sick of it. And Those are Democratic voters or independent voters yeah. in New Hampshire where that uh, town right. hall was last night. So that's, I mean, yeah. to yeah. your point, why not go where the voters are?